Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. I have my Innocent Gun glass sent to me by the great Joe. And now we have some Innocent Gun Ale by the great Joe. No longer average, he's great. This is Innocent Gun's Bourbon Stout. Let's see if I can get some information for you. Innocent Gun Red Stout has been brewed using typical rye crystal malt to give a deep ruby color with an extra U in it. White bread golden hops uh, complement the sweet biscuity malt and soft hop bitterness. It is slowly matured over uh, bourbon infused oak which gives a mellow vanilla flavor and a nice warming bourbon kick. This is 7.4 alcohol by volume, best served at 4 to 6 degrees Celsius, whatever the hell that is. Okay, and um, this is uh, you know handcrafted by Scottish beer, a rich red stout matured over bourbon infused oak. Awesome stuff. Uh, let's see, approved for bottling by Christy A. Russell, and brewmaster is Douglas Gunn something or other. Uh, carefully for matured for 45 days prior to the re release. I don't know how old this bottle actually is. Uh, but it has been matured. It's a product of Scotland. Oh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh and Scotland and innocentgun.com. That's enough information. I kind of gave a little tasting notes in on there, but I can't even remember what they were. But kind of nice to get get the information on, on these really you know hard to get ales this is impossible for me to get now I'm not going to expect the classic stout off this one this is going to be a red stout so it's going to be a little drier a little lighter maybe even have a little bit of peppery note from the rye mall anyway So I shouldn't really go stereotypical. Now their stout aged in uh, Irish whiskey, however, is a stout, and that was very lovely, very chocolatey. I'm, I can already see a ruby hue right about here. It gets it gets darker as it goes up. Ah, but when you put it up to light, perfect ruby, crimson color all the way through. Well, that smells very nice. You get those nice dark roasted malts, a bit of toast. You get those rye, those rye malts are coming through. And that might even be a little bit of rye bourbon kind of coming in through there too. That was nice floral notes. Yeah, a little bit of a peppery floral note on that one. So let's give it a go and see what we can get out of this. Cheers. Well, it's got a real, real rich sweetness to it. Um, kind of a weird, kind of playful bourbon sweetness. So it kind of wraps around your mouth, makes you pucker a little bit, though. It's a real different kind of a, a character. I am getting the vanilla. You're getting those wood notes, those vanilla notes. It's a very soft bourbon. I mean, it's really soft. It comes more out of a, a weird kind of accents that rye quality. And it just comes out as like those random floral notes. Um, a little bit of a weird twist to the ale, I think, in my mouth. It almost wants, now and again, it wants me to take away that off flavor, you know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't. It stays there, kind of wraps back around. It's interesting. It's very sweet. Very sweet. It's got a sweet malt base to it. And it's almost like those candied confection vanilla kind of candies a little bit with the with the aftertaste because it's very vanilla. It's not very faint. It's a good vanilla. A lot of floral notes, a lot of earth tones, a mild bitterness. It's a strange ale. 
That's the best way I can tell you to. It's a very strange ale. Finish is pretty clean. Drying. So it's got those, you know, a little bit of a thinner mouthfeel, a little bit more of those dark grains. That rye is peppery. It finishes dry. So stylized red stout, it's all it's it's hitting all the marks. You're getting a load of floral um, presence from the hop from those um, not the hops. Well, maybe a little bit earthy floral notes from the hops. Kind of the most woody, fuggly kind of Kent hops, golden tops. But you're getting a lot of those floral notes from the bourbon. It's good, but it's not blowing me away at all. And I'm spending way too much time trying to figure out what I'm tasting, more so than enjoying what I'm tasting. Um, I'm going to give this one, it's a 7.4 alcohol by volume, and I think I'm going to go one point up from that and give it a 7.5, because it's just not hitting the enjoyment levels that I'd like. It's very good. And it's definitely complicated, and it's a different take on the whole style. But to me, it's... I don't know what the hell it's trying to do. <laughs> but yeah, 7.5. I'm going to get... That's a fair... I think that's fair. 7.5 from the Innocent Guns Bourbon Stout. It's been Paul from PA Brew News. Thank you, Joe. Cheers.